The life of a deadly fire has begun. This scenario occurs in millions of homes every year around the world. Okay, we have flames just coming up the, uh, the back of the sofa. Might be from a, uh, a cigarette that was left there for a few hours or uh, a little kid playing with a lighter and giving it a little ignition. At this stage, the small flame is relatively harmless. To grow, the main source of fuel is the sofa. As it burns, the heat it produces decomposes chemicals in its wood and synthetic material. Rising is a complex concoction of flammable gases. They combine with oxygen in the room to produce a dazzling chemical reaction, flames. As the flames radiate heat downward onto the sofa, more and more fuel is consumed. As this deadly cycle repeats itself, the fire grows with frightening speed. Okay, we had two smoke detectors in the hallway that, uh, that were getting activated. Now the fires began to spread up the wall. You can start seeing heavier smoke building up, up against the ceiling. That's hot gas that's, that's trapped there by the ceiling. Experiments like this have led scientists to a simple but alarming discovery. Fires are changing. 107 seconds into the burn, this fire is much hotter than it would have been 20 years ago. The reason? Modern furnishings ignite more easily and burn faster than traditional products like wool and timber. We can see the radiation from the fire just on the sofa starting to affect other objects in the room. They're smoking, they're, they're pyrolyzing, they're giving off additional fuel. That's additional fuel that's going up into that hot layer that's going to burn. In the 1950s, the average apartment fire took more than 15 minutes to peak at around 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, they can hit a staggering 2,000 degrees. In a little over 150 seconds, this test fire grew from a harmless flame to a raging inferno. The heat and energy it released destroyed the apartment in less than three minutes.